Alright guys, so here's the start of the winch, and basically this is how I intend to set it up. On these particular Craftsman chassis, on the front there's a set of three different holes that are already here in the top plate of frame. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a washer in the middle hole, and I'm going to weld it into place so that I can put the hole through for the back of the winch. And then on the front, I'm going to take a piece of this one and a quarter, and I'm going to have it come out through the front. And then that way, I can take some one inch steel, and I can build a shroud in order to mount this. Okay, let's get started. Well, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but the Hobart handler does have one fatal flaw. Unfortunately, it occasionally runs out of wire. There we go, let's get back to welding. Alright, so we got the two front pieces welded up. We got this put on, and so we set this on here and we got the nut that we welded in back which goes like that and then this here is going to set across the front and what I'll do is I'll drill out a couple of holes on each side and then I'll weld the captive nut on the inside and on the front of the winch I'll mark that and I'll drill all the way through um, grade 8 bolt through it just to make sure Alright guys, so I'm not sure how well you're going to see it from this angle, but basically what I discovered was that this would flex, as you can see here. And I've also decided I'd like to be able to keep the stock muffler set up, because I don't want this to be too loud. And so what I've decided is I welded in these drop downs that come down with a bar that comes across the center. And I'm going to weld a couple of pieces that go back and put a plate across the bottom so that the muffler is safe and maybe make a skid plate that comes up at an angle like this on the front. So we'll see what we can do. Alright, so there we go. You can see I'm going to weld this and I'm going to weld on the other side. I have this piece here that's across the front to protect from hitting directly onto the muffler back in here. And I've got this piece coming across that I've welded on and I'm also going to weld a piece from here up to this at a diagonal in order to reinforce everything. And that should eliminate all of the flex and we'll put a plate across all of it. Maybe V this in on this section so that it cuts through stuff. And then we'll get the winch mounted. Alright, so here we go. We got our skid plate made. Dell edition. The only thing that they're good for is their scrap metal. And as you can see, it pops right up on and right up in there. So we're going to mount it up. I'll put a screw here and one, two down each side. And our skid plate's all set. Alright guys, now for the crummy walk around holding the camera apart. As you can see, it's welded out. There's the plate in front and as we come up you can see how it's mounted across there and you can see the holes there the captive nuts that are on the inside of here and the front so now I'm gonna take everything off and get it all painted. Well guys, apparently I managed to forget to go and turn on the camera when I was doing the install, so I'm going to end up doing a walk around and showing you the basic wiring how-to. But as you can see, it works. So I'm going to walk you around and show you the basic wiring and how it's set up. And hopefully this will help you someday. Alright, so basically, if we look at this, we have this diagram right here, 
which you probably can't make out. But basically it says red and black and then it says the long version. And what it means by that is that when you get it, you will have this box here which controls your up and down and you're going to have a really long red and black. And they're gonna to need to go through the chassis all the way up through across here and then the red one connects to the red terminal the black one connects to the white terminal and then when you come back you're going to have another red and black and these connect to your battery and you're also going to have a live a green and a black wire coming out this green and black wire circles back around and comes to your switch which is your out and your in in either direction the other thing that you're going to need to deal with is from this switch you have a live connection that if you were dealing with a vehicle you would run it to your ignition but in this case I want to be able to access it at any given point in time so underneath here in here it's kind of a jarble see if I can get this to focus okay had to run over and grab a light in order to get it to focus in here what we have is we have our regular connection and then this is your battery power to the solenoid and then this wire here goes to your switch now you could potentially mount the switch instead of coming to this terminal so that you can have it on in front of your seat you could potentially mount it to the back side of your ignition there is a live wire there and then I could have just cut a hole out in here and mounted it which I might do later but I think later on I'm gonna do a custom dash and otherwise than that it's just the ground wire here and connect up your green and your black wire as it says in the directions and there we are Good to go. Hey guys, just decided to come down to one of my favorite places in the house and say thank you for subscribing. Thanks for supporting me, my fish, the off-road lawn tractor, and all the other fun little how-tos and fix-its and everything else that I do. And I just wanted to say, leave me comments. Tell me what it is you guys want to see. Tell me mods you'd like to go and see somebody try on a lawn tractor. Tell me things about the fish you'd like to know. And tell me anything else that you guys would like me to do a how-to on or attempt or something like that. The channel is based on you guys watching, so tell me what you want to see. Have fun and have a good night from Thanksgiving and JoJo and I.